Hello everyone, in this video I would like to demonstrate uh, three different ways uh, to plot uh, a histogram for the given data set. Uh, let's say we have two uh, data sets, uh, uh, those are uh, grades, uh, let's say for the midterm exam for the statistics course, uh, and this sample is uh, from 2017 and this sample is uh, from 2018. I'm going to use uh, these two data sets uh, for uh, this video and also for the next couple of videos uh, and uh, that is going to cover everything you need for a lab number one and a lab number two. Okay, so let's uh, start. Uh, before uh, plotting the histogram, uh, we need to understand uh, how many classes uh, uh, do we need and uh, uh, first let's calculate minimum for this uh, data set. So we calculated using the minimum function uh, and uh, we place equal here in order to uh, state that this is uh, a formula. And minimum, yeah, we can take everything here. Sorry. And then we calculate maximum. Also, we can calculate uh, how many uh, how many grades uh, do we have in this uh, sample. So this is our n, and it is equal to. So let's count. Okay, so then we can calculate uh, range. So this is again equal to maximum minus minimum this is our range okay so now let's calculate uh, how many classes uh, do we need uh, as you know from the book uh, and again i assume that you covered everything you need uh, in terms of the theory uh, for this uh, uh, for this lab um, you know uh, hopefully by now uh, that uh, uh, the more classes uh, doesn't mean the better since uh, if you have uh, too many classes uh, we will start uh, having gaps uh, gaps in our histogram and it's going to uh, be difficult uh, to judge uh, uh, to make some judgment uh, about uh, the shape so the more gaps we have uh, uh, the less uh, clear is the shape of the uh, distribution uh, and uh, yeah if you take um, less classes uh, if we take uh, not enough classes, uh, then again, like our uh, shape, our shape is going to be distorted, it's going to be blurry, and again, it's going to make, uh, it's going to be difficult to make the uh, judgment about the um, uh, shape of the distribution. <coughs> uh, sorry. Okay, and uh, what I suggested uh, in, in our discussion board, uh, I posted I posted this uh, um, uh, this post on our discussion board and here I suggest uh, the rule rule of the thumb which you can use uh, for the number of classes uh, selection okay uh, and uh, in order to calculate the number of the classes we need to take uh, the uh, logarithm it can be any logarithm uh, here we are taking a natural logarithm because uh, natural logarithm function uh, can be found in uh, any calculator, it can be found here in Excel. Um, so that is why yeah, I selected natural logarithm. Okay, so it's a natural logarithm of n, so that's number of the elements in the data set divided by natural logarithm of uh, uh, 2. Okay, and we are going to round it up. Number of uh, the classes uh, is the whole uh, number. Okay, so let's uh, set it as k. And it is equal to, I will use round up, round up function. And it is uh, a logarithm, a logarithm, let's see here, a logarithm of n divided by a logarithm of 2. Okay, and I'm rounding up to the closest whole number. So I put zero here, that means I will round it to the closest whole number. Okay, and 
let's press enter so the number of uh, the classes we need is eight is eight in your uh, lab number one uh, you are given seven classes uh, that is why use seven classes use seven classes so if the number of classes is given use that number of uh, uh, classes okay uh, here yeah the uh, reasonable number of classes is uh, uh, eight Okay, uh, let's calculate the uh, uh, width and our width. Let's also round it up. Round up. And uh, it is uh, a range divided by number of the classes and up to the, uh, let's say, closest whole number. Okay, so this is our width. So width is equal to seven. So now we are ready to plot a histogram, and uh, the easiest uh, way to plot the uh, histogram is to use is to use uh, this option, uh, statistics chart. We can say, okay, grab this data and insert the histogram, and let's call it automatic. automatic and what you need to do uh, what I highly recommend to do so just go here and uh, here in the access options go to the bin width uh, watch how the histogram is going to change so see here we have some preset uh, number of uh, uh, classes number of bins if you click it see it's changing a little bit so it is changing a little bit so let's do it eight Eight. Okay, so that's what we have. And we can maybe make it a little bit bigger. Switch it a little bit. Okay, so that's uh, that's what we have. And as we can see, it's a nice bell shape. Okay, so this is normal distribution, and that's what we expect to see uh, if. Uh, um, the um, mark let's say uh, midterm exam so this is perfect so this is perfect that means uh, exam was uh, just right it was not uh, extremely difficult and at the same time it was not uh, that uh, easy okay uh, so this is the first uh, way uh, to plot the histogram uh, the problem of this approach is that uh, if uh, let's say we, we, we need to plot uh, some um, like other um, uh, representations of the data so let's say the frequency polygon or the ogive or, or let's say uh, the uh, pie chart like for the uh, relative uh, uh, frequencies so then we can't uh, uh, do much yeah. um, uh, that is why let's uh, um, let's build the uh, frequency table okay so let's uh, define our uh, lower limits lower limits and let's define our upper limits okay so our low limit uh, let's take uh, our minimum which is uh, 43 43.69 uh, 43.69 and let's press equal to and let's grab this and add our class width so which is seven okay and uh, let's go down so this is one two three four five six seven eight okay eight so those are our low limits uh, here we have uh, uh, 50.69 what we can do here we can take a slightly slightly smaller number so which is uh, let's say 50 point 50 point uh, 68 68 okay and so let's again add up seven which is our class width 
Okay, let's now double click and it's going to propagate down. Okay, so let's see if we are covering everything. Uh, the upper limit, uh, the last one is 99.68 and our maximum is 97.9. Perfect, so this uh, class is covering our maximum. Perfect, so now let's use uh, frequency function. So those are frequencies. Let's use our frequency function equal to um, in order to use the frequency function uh, we need to select eight cells yeah because we are going to have eight frequencies and we press equal to frequency now here it is data array which is this one and bins array those are our upper limits Okay, and then we press Control Shift Enter, and that is going to propagate the uh, frequencies down. We can check, so we can check if uh, everything is there. So the total number, the total number of the grids uh, here should be equal to one hundred and thirty. We can say right here total, and this is equal to sum of uh, all those frequencies here 130 so that means that uh, we covered all the points in the uh, data set okay so now we can grab here and uh, put classes let's say and we can say so the first class is from 43.69 to 50.68. Okay, so the next one. Yeah, and you see Excel understands, understands right away what do we need. Okay, what do we need? And we press enter. We are going to need uh, those uh, for some notations. Okay, perfect. Let's also make it middle. Okay, so let's grab our frequencies now and insert. And now we do not insert the uh, statistics uh, uh, chart, statistic chart. Um, if you do it, you are going to have nonsense. We apply this directly to the data set. In order to use our frequencies to plot our histogram, we need to go here and use the 2D column. Okay, okay and uh, let's call this, let's say, manual. Manual histogram. Maybe drop it down here. Okay, as you can see, we have some uh, some some random numbers. Yeah, from one to eight. Yeah, what we can do, and we can select data. We can edit horizontal axis, and instead of those uh, numbers, we can just use our classes. Say okay. Okay, and uh, uh, in the book uh, you can see some recommendation to eliminate uh, the, um, uh, the gaps. Uh, uh, that is why we introduced those boundaries here in Excel. You can just remove the, the gap. Yeah, we can go here. And uh, not fill, we need border and uh, color. I don't know. Yeah, let's use the white color. Yeah, so something like that. As you can see, yeah, it's, it's uh, quite close. Yeah, so it's quite close to what we've done using using that uh, automatic approach uh, through the uh, statistic uh, chart. There is one more. So there is one more way to uh, plot the 
uh, histogram of the given data set. Um, we can go to home. If you go to data, if you go to data um, here, we can uh, activate the add in data add in. We go to file, we go to options, we go to add ins, and we go to analysis tool pack right there. And then we go here, manage Excel add ins, go. And we add analysis tool pack. And we say, okay. You see right here, now we see data analysis. So we press data analysis and uh, we choose uh, histogram. So, okay. Input range, so that's our data. Uh, bin range, those are our upper limits right there. Okay, and uh, we, don't, we don't want to populate it on uh, the uh, new work uh, as shit, so we'll just uh, populate it somewhere. I don't know, let's uh, do it somewhere here, for example. Somewhere here, for example. And we say, okay. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, we have, we have that uh, small frequency uh, table, very similar to what we've done right there. Okay. Yeah, I think the, the frequencies, yeah, so the frequencies are the same. Yeah, see? Okay, and we can do the same. We can go ahead and uh, insert uh, the empty column. And this is, let's say, our, uh, our tool pack. Tool pack approach. And again, uh, right click, uh, let's select data, edit, and let's select our classes. Right there, say so, okay, okay, and then we go here and again eliminate the gap and go there. Yeah, let's maybe do some other color, let's say black, and it should be good. Okay, Okay, uh, so that's it. So that's it. Let's maybe move it right there. That's it. Those are uh, three different uh, ways uh, to plot the uh, histogram. Okay, so in the uh, next uh, uh, video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, some um, other charts uh, which uh, uh, you will need to plot, uh, for example, for the uh, midterm exam. And we are going to analyze uh, the second uh, data set and we are going to compare those uh, two data sets for the grades uh, from 2017 and from 2018 and make some conclusions, make some conclusions.